you need to be current on what's available. And, and particularly in glaucoma, there's tremendous change going on. This is, I think, the biggest era of renaissance in glaucoma in my 30 years of practicing it. We have you know, new areas of diagnostics, new areas of pharmaceuticals, new areas of, of devices. Um, new, you know, there's new areas, genetic neural protection that um, you know, were pipe dreams years ago, and now looks like we we're getting really close to it. So if ever there was a time to stay current, it's now. I think it's a great meeting. I, I, you know, I don't think there's many meetings that have uh, such a wide spectrum of, uh, of education. You know, the Saturday session offers, you know, what's new in glaucoma as well as some review. Um, the, the Friday session gives a chance for, for, the, for industry and some of the consultants to kind of get a chance to share what's, what else is going on on the industrial side. So we get a sense of where we are and where we're going. This is a uh, not-for-profit enterprise. It's a, you know, a charitable event. No one's getting paid to do this. And uh, you know, we're here to educate, we're, uh, partly here to raise money for the foundation. Uh, and, and we're partly here to teach, to educate uh, the entire glaucoma community. That isn't just clinicians. Industry, um, educators all have a chance to get up to date. It's kind of unique because most meetings, um, ophthalmology meetings are really geared strictly for continuing medical education. That's important. Um, but there's a whole nother level uh, of education that's also important and that's with industry. We keep that relationship going and, and that we keep the field innovating.